but it might be longer because they got a larger order so like their stuff will take that majority of the time and then yours will be like right after that so we have a lot of things we have a lot of things oh and then i i gotta move this person back to the starting stage because obviously they didn't do their thingy so yes um did we turn this into a thingy though i don't think so so what we're gonna do real quick is we're going to you got a lot of work cut out yeah man um ever since quarantine it's just been um it's just been like back to back to back to back of work and that's good you know because thank you guys uh but it's just uh i gotta make sure that i'm orderly and everybody knows what's going on and the emails are getting sent out uh people are getting processed in and processed out there's like a whole business side behind it all and nobody talks about the business side of doing art like absolutely nobody talks about it everybody talks about doing art and having fun or whatever but there is things that you have to do for number one your commissioners to be good for you to be protected number two and then um you know making sure that everybody's happy including yourself you know what i'm saying because nobody talks about the business side of anything um we want to pretend that everything is all happy go lucky that's fine but we can't forget the fact that you have to you have to treat these people like normal work you know what i'm saying you got to do it like normal work and you have to uh, make sure that they know what's going on I guess I was worried about doing my own square store and hoping you could give me the down low on it if it would be wise. Honestly speaking, it's a really good platform to sell your own stuff. You like if you're doing stickers and stuff like that and doing shipping and all that. The only thing that I will have to say is like you won't get your money until you ship things out. And like they recommend that you ship things out with a um what do you call that? You know that that code that when things get shipped out you could track it what is it called a tracking number tracking number boom so you need one of those to be able to get your money like quickly because they'll give it to you really quick if you have the tracking if you don't it takes some time and all that extra stuff but um it's good for that then on top of that you have your square magnet thing i have the square magnet thing and i also have the dipping card thing and that works for conventions. So, like, let's say if you go to conventions or you ordering on the go, or you just swipe somebody's card and you get in the money right then and there, and then you just hand out the stuff. And it's good for conventions. It's good for flea markets. It's good for anything that you have to do business wise. It's good for. Um, even if you're like talking with friends and you happen to have books in the back of your car or stickers in the back of your car, and they're asking, "Hey, like, can I get one?" Sure, no problem. Swipe your card here, and then you know. Um, it has all that it does have a transaction fee so like um every item that is sold or off of every money that you make like let's say if somebody makes an order and it's twenty dollars they'll take like two dollars for processing and then plus a couple of cents for uh processing it onto your card another cool thing about square up is that it comes with its own credit card so like you don't necessarily need the transaction either no you really don't like you don't need to register as a business you could register as yourself you know what i'm saying like everything that i do for my business is basically me being self-employed and i do all my taxes that way as a self-employed person so like any money that i make and all that good stuff i show my invoices and um they go based on that and then i show like the expenses that i had to do that year and that goes based on that and then boom i pay the taxes and it's done out the way but all that goes underneath your social security so like when you do sign up for square up they ask you for your social security and the reason why they do that is because that's for your taxes and all that good stuff so put in your social security and you should be fine you shouldn't have to register as a business at all you know what i'm saying you could be a self-employed freelancer if that's what you want to call it so yeah 
that is that. I know that was like a lot, but I promise you, once you do it the first couple of times, it's not that bad. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Um, they did change up their system though. So they did change up their system and their system is a lot different now. And what I mean by that is like they have more variations. Uh, you can do t-shirt designs now and you can also sell overseas. So they have like all this options and all this mess, mess that you got to learn. You got to like basically relearn. So it's like a learning curve. But all the all in all, it's still a good, I will I have to say a good, um, a really good, A really good uh, website to sell your stuff on. Can't you see you and me? And there's nothing left to say. What you do for me? Our love is meant to be. You are made for me. I was overwhelmed trying to Google if I need to pay for something, licensing. Nah, you don't. You don't need none of that. Um, even, like, when we go to, like, conventions and stuff like that, they always tell us, oh, you need, um, you need that, that thing is, like, a vendor's license. And honestly speaking, to pay the $25 for the vendor's license, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's fine. But you gotta, like, always drop down the taxes and stuff like that. And if you're not making nothing that couple of months, they kind of, it kind of makes you feel like, why the hell am I doing this anyway? It's stupid. It's it's dumb. So I handle my taxes and everything differently because I I just don't get it. I'm like I don't understand. You know I'm just sitting there like <laughs> what the freak. I had to deal with some crap. Oh man, I hope it wasn't bad crap, man. Cause I hope you're doing all right, man. So I lost my layer file from my first chapter, and I can't edit them for reprints. What the freak? That's why you need three places to upload your stuff, man. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I have a hard drive. I have my computer. And then I have my other computer. Two places. The max. You want to always keep your stuff, man. I am so sorry. Dude. I am so sorry that happened. Like, honestly. Honestly. 